children today we will learn more about factors of multiplication people from champapur are making plans to go on a picnic they have to arrange for some buses for the picnic the seating should be such that the number of people sitting in every row is equal the first bus operators sent a bus in which only one person can sit in a row and there are six such rows can people sit in a bus like this to find the answer to this question we will need to find the factors of six do you want to learn an easy method to find factors it is very simple we need to identify the number tables in which the number 6 appears come let's start with the table of 1 does number 6 appear in the table of 1 yes 6 multiplied by 1 is 6 therefore 6 people can sit in this bus in 6 rows with one person sitting in each row So children can you find out more such buses where six people can sit but remember that the number of people in each row should be equal let's find all the factors of 6 and solve this puzzle does the number 6 appear in the table of 2 yes 3 multiplied by 2 is 6 therefore 2 is the factor of 6 so if two people sit in each of three rows how many people would be able to sit 6 now let's look at the table of 3 does the number 6 appear in the table of 3 2 multiplied by 3 is 6 therefore 3 is the factor of 6 So if 3 people sit in each of 2 rows how many people in total would be sitting on the bus 6 Now let's check the table of 4 Does the number 6 appear in table of 4 No Therefore 4 is not the factor of number 6 In other words if in a bus four people sit in each row then six people will be able to sit in two rows but the number of people in each row will not be equal similarly if we look at the table of 5 then we will find that 5 is also not a factor of number 6 so a bus in which five people sit in each row will not be of any use to the villagers now let's look at the table of 6 does the number 6 appear in the table of 6 yes 1 multiplied with 6 is 6 therefore 6 is also the factor of number 6 so one line and six people in each line is a good option today we saw that 1 2 3 and 6 are the factors of the number 6 and 4 and 5 are not factors of 6 so you see by finding all the factors of 6 we help the villagers children we can find the factors of any number by using the multiplication table now why don't you try to play this game of finding factors of number 8 with your friends so children in this lesson we learned a unique method of finding factors of any number in the next chapter we will learn different ways to use these factors